Michael, I've known you since you were a child. Please. You have a gift. You always have. If there's an answer to your disease, you'll find it. I should have died years ago. Why am I still here if not to fix this? I have a rare blood disease, and I'm running out of time. This could be my last chance. You're up to something. What is it? That's not exactly legal. I want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. At what cost? something that's broken. Until the remedy... <laughs> ...is worse than the disease. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I understand your feel for that. So I don't know about that. A lot of people are like, is it connected to the... Um, to the Spider-Man, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like then... That would be but then how is it connected to... The, well, I guess it would be still connected to the MCU because they've already connected Spider-Man to the MCU. And the only thing is that they're only doing one more movie now with them. And I mean, that's there, true, but, too. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We will definitely have to see. I mean, that's more than anything. Did you want to uh, check the volume? Yeah, I'll check right now for you. Yeah. Ooh, Dragon Ball Z. Can't wait for that. It's pretty dope. If you want, we can check it out after this episode. You yeah, can kind of run through. Yeah, check it out a little bit. That way you could see. Try before you yeah, buy. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Perfect. Oh, is the is the music on now yet? Oh, uh... Yeah. Not yet, right? Let me make sure. I bet you it's not going yet. See, that was going to be our original background. Where is... That's why I lost the oh, new page. Oh. We'll put the music back on here in a second, guys. <laughs> yep, sorry <Okay>. about that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I know, I'm sorry. That's fine, we're doing new things. We're trying to test out this uh, green screen, so. <laughs> so far, it's doing all right. It looks yeah, pretty it looks decent. Bad. I mean, with the the thing is, it'll get better. Uh, it'll give, it'll it'll be a lot better if I get some uh, add-on stuff for the... Uh... Oh, like some things scrolling up in... I mean, just different things, you know, there's yeah. all kinds. We still got to put the... Uh, what we really gotta still put is this. Yeah, like all that back on. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then all I really have to do is add this scene from uh, <clears throat> from before. It's it's like it's like I said. It's just I was still working through a lot of it today. We'll get the lighting is another big thing. Oh, you know what? What did, did we have? Didn't I have those? Was that little one? Maybe that one's a little better because it's got like a flatter lighting than the. Yeah, to have behind us. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't. <laughs> Jack crap. <laughs> it's, it's a terrible light. It is awful. It's alright. It's not meant to be very good. That's no, fine. It's not meant to. It's cheap. I'm sorry, guys. Sounds like the music's going now, but can we hear us? Yeah, still, sorry, it's just slow. It's all flat. Other than that, um, 
So you've been playing Dragon Ball Z and you said you're liking it so far. Yeah, I didn't get too far. I'm not even to rat it. But I'll, I'll tell you why I already yeah. like it and why it's already amazing. Even though, and I played for like two hours. Well, an hour and a half. Okay. But I obviously I'm an explorer guy, so I explore yeah, and I, too. yeah, I check it all out. I, I just can't help myself. Get the mic back in the right place next time too. But uh, I just can't help myself, for one. It's just so amazing, especially when it's a world, which is why I like world games and don't like world games at the same time, because it, it really is a beautiful... There we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, if it'll start playing. And actually, that'll be the game in the background. Yeah, we might we almost... do that. Let's do that. Perfect. Awesome. So people can see that while we do our thing. I love it. Hey, I'm pretty... I'm excited for it. I think we look... Oh, God, I'm so pale. <laughs> Uh, oh, the blue shirt probably I was not the best. Oh, that's yeah. why I'm wearing the wrong shirt. The blue I had shirt a different shirt. Different <laughs> shirt. Oh, man, that's going to be a rough one, too, because I did some pictures in this shirt for uh, background stuff. <laughs> but I knew about that. I forgot that I was wearing this shirt. I had another shirt ready, and then I switched shirts for, like, a photo shoot. Oh, yeah, bro. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, like... Much better. Yeah, actually, oh, the black okay. does perfect. There you go. It's great, so... Now we just wear black on black on black. Oh, and then I'm supposed to wear eight. That's what I wear anyway. He's supposed I'm to, supposed to wear so. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm usually dark colors. Because hair also does weird. Like, you see my hair is like blue yeah, coming out a little bit. Yeah. But that's also what can be fixed with the lighting. So if you put the light behind and you get a backlight, that lights your hair out. It's all good shit, though. I mean, obviously, there's tons of different stuff that needs to be done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm just um, working on some things. But this is. It's pretty cool. This is <laughs> much this better. Is definitely much better setup. I like I'll it. Say that. Definitely like it a little more. Um, we're, we're getting better every time, guys, and I think that's the whole point. You know what I mean? Uh, is to just get a little better every time, because isn't that what we all want yeah. at the end of the day? You want to pull up your comments, huh? Yep, got to pull up the comments just in case. You never know, man. You never know when you're gonna need comments. It's, it's also we might get or might not get comments. Oh, hey, Jude's here. So Jude can see the background on uh, the new game. So sorry, brother. I know it's a little grainy in some spots and we're still getting the lighting fixed. Maybe this might be a bit of a problem for that. But we'll see in a second. That actually, yeah, that, that fixed a lot of that bottom stuff. So everybody turning that light on. <laughs> it's, all, it's so weird. But yeah, so you see Raditz and Gohan, all this intro stuff. This is all just still from the intro. Um, but what I really liked about it, and I won't, without spoiling too, too much, so I won't tell you what's going on. You'll see it here, I guess, if you really pay attention. But hopefully we'll be talking about other stuff, and that'll just be background. Yeah. Um, but like the real thing that I enjoyed was it has some context stuff that you don't get in either the anime or the manga and now whether or not it's real or not because there's going to be a lot of I think like alternate scenes but so like here's one long haired man not much longer this is one of the things they have these scenes that are in between stuff you would have seen in the anime and the manga so mm -hmm. we start you skip from Dragon Ball Z both in the manga and in the anime basically from the end of the 23rd Tournament 24. I was to say, where does it start off at? It starts all the way. If it's Z, it starts basically. From, right. Uh, uh, it starts from uh, Raditz. That's where Z starts. But remember, there is no separation between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z as far as the manga is concerned. Oh. It all okay. just flowed just, into just... one thing. Okay. Yeah. It was. It was literally one week. He was fighting Demon King Piccolo, or the or Mod Junior at the tournament, mm -hmm. and then like a week or two later, yeah, I think he had a small break. The last. Uh arc of that right yeah that was King for the piccolo. animes is the well not the king piccolo but the Ma junior arc well that's technically part of the king movie piccolo. though wasn't that a movie no no no. i mean they have some movies in dragon ball too there's some like little ones and they've turned some of the arcs into movies similarly to how super kind of did it but in reverse mm -hmm. but uh the end of dragon ball as far as i remember it is him beating uh piccolo basically Ma junior at that time at the World Martial Arts Tournament. Yeah, I thought that was Remember, okay. he blows up the ring. That's when they really got the interesting f because then they showed, like, I think that's there was... when they first showed kind of like some Oh, yeah. Well, they talk stuff. about it as, who is it does breaks down the uh, the people who do the Abridged series, which I love the Abridged series for Dragon Ball Z. It's hilarious. 
some people do or don't like it because it's spoofing the series, so it's obviously making fun yeah, of it. Yeah. But I, I think it's Sometimes I like a good laugh every once in a while. The <laughs> thing about like it that. I like is it stays true to the core of the series while making fun of it. So it's, you know, and it's so funny. So they'll do the one, so you have the Dragon Ball Super joke. It's like, why didn't you, you know, why or why did you hit them? They're charging. You know what I mean? That's not cool, 17. They've made that joke for years. It's like, why didn't you hit him while he was charging up? Oh, I forgot. I've been talking. It was like, I'm talking to someone. Was, or he's like, but I want him to get to full power. Like, literally, they did it years before. And so it's just interesting to see how they kind of call those. But they talk about how that's the last time you see real martial arts in Dragon Ball. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's... Where there's hand fight, you know, it's not just faster than the I can see, stronger than a yeah. human being could possibly I wonder what be made him kind of go into the other direction of I want to do now them having power, like super I think he just, in. I think he just wanted to get there. I don't know, maybe, and the maybe. thing is, I don't think he planned it, because everyone's like, he runs by the seat of his pants, but man... There's a lot of coincidental stuff that ends up like playing in really well later. Like yeah. that, or he's just a really good impromptu writer at when he wants to be at pulling a thing because you have the whole tail into the monkey form thing. Yeah, I say, mean, there's, yeah, there's all that. I mean, those are all things that maybe he just wanted to keep a mystery until okay, I want to get yeah. to this. I honestly don't think that's what he did, but but, but it could be. Who knows? But yeah, I don't remember. Maybe there's some interviews about you know how him. He's, how he's come from Dragon Ball to Z. Yeah, to and why Super he did now. that. <laughs> Which is funny because Super is really not that big of Much a departure. Did, I mean, the only thing that I, it did bring to it that I was was interested was that it brought like these multi uh, verses now. And... No, the multiverse, and that's been a really big concept lately. Uh, yeah. It was just funny to me because it's an old concept. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, realistically. Marvel and them have been doing it for quite a while. Quite a while, quite a while. Even prior to that, you had... I mean, it's a science concept, and it's been around for years. You know what I mean? It's not like it's fresh off the boat or anything. Um, it's just now it's popular. I think if people are maybe... Maybe it's just nowadays it's, like, graspable, or maybe we... Who knows? But it's it's all over the place. Dragon Ball Z does it. Even in the games, they had Xenoverse do it. Dragon Ball Heroes does yeah, it. Yeah, they did do They've it. They've really That's gone right. on a big... They added that whole uh, time... Um, Oh yeah, the, the I, I remember my cousin playing yeah, that. The, whole it was thing. a whole thing. I didn't. I didn't do too much of it. My brother did, uh, mostly because it's not canon, and I'm more. Yeah, of that's. The, but it was cool for a lot of different reasons, and that was like potential and possible enemies and versions of people. You had Dragon Ball fusions, which was just about people fusing and what their random fusions would be, like Hercule and Gohan, or. And some of them I used to love Booty Kai for that when you used to. F oh, the yeah. And you get the fat boo. Yeah, the timing the or the skinny. Or the, or the go cheetah. Or would be the skinny. skinny uh... Go tanks. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> that. That stuff's cool. And to have it all be canon now, too, and super, like a lot of the stuff that was either. They even did some that weren't even, like, in the show in Booty Kai, remember? Oh, yeah. They, they did, did, like, Goku and Her Hercules, didn't they? And I was like, that wasn't in the show, but it was so funny. Just it see. was. Cool. <laughs> Dude, and I missed that. And that's what this one does, I think, well it's got the switch between kind of story and open world so like here in this first area right uh just and it's not too much of a spoiler but like this is the very first area no, you, you get to hunt him with your son yep although there is a fight before this you get like the opening fight that's a tutorial and you're basically shadow fighting piccolo oh, okay. and that's the scene i was talking about where it's things so this is prior to the first episode of Dragon Ball Z, where you go to the island. With go oh, on. yeah, because that's when he st first introduces is, his son. Right, to and so they'll get to it eventually as we go through this, however, depending on how so long we end up So this is a little bit of some extra right here scene. Yep, just kind of like... You know, but I do like that this, though, you did say this is pretty much canon because they said that they added more... Uh, scenes that weren't from the they add, yeah they added two stories that was the only reason i bought the deluxe version i didn't buy the ultimate version because it had like all the music and you can oh, ride cool. tau pai pai's flying pillar as your <laughs> which is cool but I mean, i'm not paying an extra 30 I, bucks they're for gonna pillar. eventually you'll buy be able to buy it yeah yeah somewhere. if i want it exactly um and I missed the pre-order stuff, unfortunately, because I didn't notice it was coming out until... You know, the only one, if I were to pre-order, I did like the collector's edition that they had. Did you see it? With I the did. The right, but it was like... The... How much was it, though? 250 or something? Yeah. You know, the other one they wanted to get was I Doom's saw... collector's edition. They, that they one might have been helmet. different, though. And it was, I think that was only for like 150 Right, and they well. always do a good job with Doom on doing the stuff. But anyway, so this area here, right, and this person <clears throat> seems like they're doing the same stuff I am. I gotta get this episode edited and uploaded too, because I just recorded the other day. 
but uh basically uh you're in a little open area world but it's not open world yet like fully open map world because you're still in story progression yeah so tutorial mode yeah kind of still. pretty much yeah it's like all right this is what we're doing this is how you like fish it does fishing or whatever right here i think uh and it's really cute this whole scene like this whole first uh fit like 10 minutes if you like fuck around with everything and like literally run everywhere you want it's probably 20 or 30 mm -hmm. but like literally this whole thing is just supposed to be cutesy it's supposed yeah. to be gohan and That's... goku kid and it's really supposed to i think this is supposed to solidify That's the a... fact that like yes in the later parts of dragon ball z goku is not there but like despite all the shit people give him for it, goku is not a bad father like he does try to be there from time to time yeah and like raise gohan and there's not a lot of well i can't I even say that there there is a few episodes of him hanging out with gohan and stuff but there's like i said yeah there is not but, a lot and of that. people are like oh they get... didn't do that and i'm like well some of it yes because of like circumstances but like let's be realistic no, no one wants no one's gonna it, it, with the exception of now super doing that nobody and super depicting him that way nobody's going to uh i guess z at the end did depict him that way too when he ran off with Ooh, there were a couple spots at the end yeah, but yeah. in the earlier parts of z well super i give him a little because they're all kind of right now and, and they're just like and that's what i was thinking for, yeah that that one i was already but even still it's super the kid gotenks and them are still kids they yeah, haven't they aged at all to, which is one of the I, big that that's kind of weird to me that they didn't, they didn't age put a all. little bit of age on them. None from the Boo Saga. And Gohan seems to have at least gotten a couple years. He's like out of high school at least. You could tell us they've added least, some wrinkles maybe. to his face. There's definitely a time a... change, but they don't seem to have gotten any older. But yeah, it's. I think it's definitely supposed to show that when Gohan was younger, Goku was a bigger part of his life. And that once he grew older and obviously became like by the time he's like 13 he's stronger than every other human being on the planet like yeah. there's not much danger as far as physical dangers can't, can't that he do needs no martial protect. arts tournaments and well, <laughs> well it's just like what is he going to protect him from like he can teach him to do some stuff but that being the other thing is goku is not like a fit teacher of anything because he was, he was raised in a cabin in the woods yeah and like yes socially decorum you can expect some certain things but like he's never going to like understand computers or that's just not never you know what i mean that he will never understand computers that's not goku that's you know what i mean he is mountain man in the woods trains cuts wood down like that's really what chi chi needs to get him to do is like just go cut wood for like cut down forests destroy the planet that's good that's cool you could do some fishing here does the fish when he uh, catches okay them, this is though, one of the like... weirest things oh he's i have seen that he uses his tail i have seen those all right trailers. but it's he talks about it like bull made him a fake tail but this is why it's weird look at how he looks when he wiggles he should not he's too old for that when he was a kid that was cute <laughs> when he was a kid that was cute but you're like mm, go no. green you stop doing go that go green you're a 40 year old man and this one he's only like a 20 year old man but you're a man and you need to stop wiggling your ass like that and jump in the water like you do in the anime and beat those fish <laughs> to death. That's literally this is what he does in the anime. When he's an adult, he stops using the tail thing. He just jumps oh, in the water and beats I was going to say, are they going to be like giant fish? Oh, yep. Yep, they are. They did oh, it. They're... It's so accurate to the world. Like, <laughs> That's cool. It's so cool. Like They have a lot of references to other stuff. Like When you look at the towns, some of the names reference actual towns. And I, like I said, I'm not even that far. I only got to see like a little portion of it. I'm sure it's not as huge as I would hope it is. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. That's the one thing I heard that uh, people were, I think, mad though, was it wasn't as open as they thought it was going to be. Um, still. I, but we, come on, do they really, what are they going to, like, GTA doesn't have a fully open world, so I don't think Dragon Ball is going to either. Like, I was no. expecting something, honestly, a little less than Breath of the Wild because it's a story-constrained open world. Like, maybe later, when it's, like, at the end of the game, I would expect a fully more open world that you can travel and do stuff. But this is a story open world, so I really do, in some proportions, expect, you know, I'm not going to be able to go to Namek at the start of the thing. And when I'm on Namek, I'm not going to be able to go back yeah, to Earth. Yeah, see, that's that's the one thing that's hard when you're doing the, those kind of games, when they're going from different planet to planet. It's not like Skyrim, where everything takes place on this one you know you know earth and plane and then you just play it all the way through so it really does feel very open world-ish and you're just you're exploring everything but right then here it kind of takes you out 
a little bit when you have okay now I'm done with Thurs now we gotta travel to Namek and I definitely their feel world that or something. but I think I think that's, that's the how whole I felt point with um, Star Wars but it wasn't really meant to be open world too it was kind of uh, you could go go back from planet to planet because if you want to do finish a mission you come back to that planet and do some things there because there were right. more things but it was do, still but... like in a progression of story yeah. And I think that's the little difference is, like like you said, Skyrim had, like, and s some others, too, like Dark Souls, have these overarching progressions, but then there's super tons of side stories and little things and just giant open worlds, or Red Dead, where it's just this giant yeah, Red Dead. open that's world. Good one, yeah. But that's not Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, no. That's never, well, like, what would you do in that for Dragon Ball Z? Like, you would just go fight random people who I just mean, happen to be hanging out. Yeah, like, so. there's Goku and Gohan and Vegeta and stuff on Earth, and then you go to, like, like, I just don't feel like that's natural. You know what no. I mean? There's no natural way to do that. The Dragon Ball Z is formatted basically into a tournament style or a world-ending villain style arc. Mm -hmm. And then early Dragon Ball obviously being more centered around, like, actual, like, take over the world villains yeah. or, like, kill your friend villains. Um, but from what I've seen, though, it looks there pretty is, cool, though. There's some cool stuff. There's some weird stuff, too. So, like, this is weird, and there's some stuff they put in here that I was like, what? This was so emblems, then. Uh, so they're, like, buffs. It's, like, a community board, so it's, like... So this is kind of, like, the RPG element kind of here? A, a little, little bit, bit yes. That's another thing people said it wasn't too RPG-ish. So oh, no. I didn't know it was pushed as an RPG. That's I what wouldn't people say. were saying. I don't know. I didn't know it was pushed as that. Like, I kind of just looked at it and I was like, oh, another Dragon Ball Z story game with open world <laughs> to fighting thing. It's like, yeah. cool, let's check it out. Um, it's not as like heavy as, like um, I guess, um, what was the last time they came out with? Not Xenoverse. Xenoverse. Was it Xenoverse? Uh, Fighter Z, besides no, that. But yeah, Fire then Z it was Xenoverse. Xenoverse, Xenoverse too. I know, had a lot of like buffs and things like oh, that. Oh, yeah, and... there's things. And this one, like I said, was much more along the lines of Breath of the Wild, where it's like, yeah, you're running along this, but you have a path and a story, and, like, you can run around some of these missions cool. and open arrows that's when you're there. That's fun to me, actually. I Like, you'll see. Sense. This is, like I said, where it's a little weird, because you have, like I said, these communities, so you have, like, the, the Z warriors, and then a cuisine area, and then a training yeah, area. food, I've heard, yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> that's, that's cool, but and that's straight from that's, Breath of the Wild stuff. I'm gonna say yeah, that's just the that's just an Asian thing, honestly. Because I, mean, I don't know what it is. Asians seem to yeah, there's love lots to put... of people. Like it's popular, man. You oh, it is. It, I find it's cool, but like, cause like, I'm not I'll give you another example. Monster Hunter does the same thing. Uh, it you, does. You, yep. Yeah. yeah. And so it seemed like, like I said, it's one of the things, and like I said, as you see, he has a community page, the pages, that's a buff to fight. Now, uh, Pokemon X and Y does the same thing. And or so not X and y, I haven't then, gotten uh... to him yet, but you're supposed to get sub party members. So it's supposed to be RPG in that style that you'll get like Krillin and stuff on the side. I haven't gotten there yet, once again, because hmm. I need to progress further through that the story cool. and had to okay. do the playthrough. But it's told me it's like you will have this person, and then you have the buffs on the pages where it's like, all right, I got this person on my page now i can say put them here and i get a buff to fighting or here and i get a buff to cooking and depending yeah, I like, on i like the idea of you know just cooking to get a buff or something like that yeah, there cool. is and then some of them are so they just oh i got it already let me inquire it it is just put a little fun into it <laughs> i like i said this it's it's really someone and put they the do post. a good job of doing the animation of doing like monster hunter was a very cool one to they do see. same with uh, breath of the wild it's like they very much were like if we're gonna make you do this and sit through it and uh Red Dead was kind of the same way, like, yeah, it was that, a little more generalized, I mean, but just, I feel like... It would just, like, press A to, to stir, it would just say right there in the corner, and then you wouldn't really, like, very close up. I don't think you were no. very close up, you uh, just seen the Kingdom Hearts, still. though, was very interactive with its cooking, Kingdom Hearts 3. Did they have a cricket Oh, yeah, I remember, remember. Crick, uh, uh, Jimmy, Oh, it yeah. did, yeah, you Remember right. you had to, like, mix the eggs? I Dude, never really I did, used it. <laughs> I, I did because I was trying to, like, unlock a bunch of shit and do... I, I'm a completionist. That's what I was asking. So. Is there any like um, hard or secret missions in uh, three that like because you know, I know besides they did the challenge one and two. Well, what were some of the challenge? Oh, well. the like they were like challenge cubes after you beat the game. These like little prisms oh, yeah, where you could go like so fight these okay. bosses, but they were like it was cool. But you were just basically like gonna have to go and grind a little bit. And, well, I remember two did cool. Job and then there because... was like these like little fruit challenges that you had to like unlock oh, yeah. with, with these little pudding monsters. There were things, but like overall, there was no like as far as I found. But yeah, again, I wasn't. I'm well, not you like, remember no. too. I think it was you had to fight uh, Sephiroth. Yeah, no, yeah, but there, there was like no even completely. Wait, like you had to go 
to that world again and just go to talk to a few people and then go you go yeah you had to do a whole nother side i like quest. that idea of it, i don't think so they had anything so there was nothing like that i don't three think so but i wasn't i didn't get to play it as much as i wanted I, like i said i haven't gotten to play it all as much as i want because doing a bunch of yeah. editing for reactions and stuff well, also hey what's up mike i Thanks mean i did through. hear they coming out with dlc so i might come back in and Ooh, buy that might. oh the lighting started going. Oh, it's when I lean. It does. Uh, yeah, I've seen it. Go well, we'll figure it out. Like I said, I really do think it's that background lighting where once we yeah. lean in and out, it kind of like edges up and down. So yeah, we try to stay still. <laughs> yeah. For now, we'll get that backlight That's going. Fine. We're figuring uh, it out, like you said, but it's, it's still cool to have though. But, it is um, an interesting. <clears throat> to have. So yeah, I mean, those those are some of the games I did play. It was just Kingdom Hearts three last year, and then I played Pokemon. Um, the new one. Nice. Nice uh, uh, sword, sword and shield. shield. I, got sword. I heard, and this is because I've been doing the Nuzlocke runs like that, I heard it was super, super easy. It felt easy. My son, uh, you know, of course he felt a little difficult to him, but other than that, I felt it was, yeah, a little easy. I then feel, I feel like, the ones I, oh when yeah, I when about. I was a kid, yeah. But then maybe it was just because I was little too and I didn't no, understand I mean, even some of them as much are as like, as I, Even some of them are now because I play them as an adult differently ones and different but i also talk with people who play them for runs and professional i don't know if that's just because they streams. wanted more people to be like not just adults to play but they really did want the kids to grab onto these games too i really think it is the mad oh, fuck, I, can't play this I think that's more of a generational thing though of like kids being like this game's too hard fuck this game well yeah because it's they they never make games unless they are known for doing things like that like yeah. dark souls or right but i feel like now it's become so generally like <clears throat> games are so catered to make it easy like yeah like you said remember when you were dropped in games sometimes and had like no clue about like this yeah. secret technique or you know what i mean and now mm. it's cool to get certain tutorials and playthroughs and i want a tutorial and playthrough for when i need stuff but there were like you said there were cool things back in the day where you just unlock or find that you don't get to do anymore partially because of that and partially <laughs> because of the internet you know there's just no secrets you yeah know you mean? just look it up now yep and I'm guilty of it. There so is like, no uh, oh, discovery. Can I buy? Uh, can I buy the game guide, mom? <laughs> or no, I, you or, can't buy or, that twenty dollar uh, game. Or guide. reading the forums <laughs> and hoping that there was actually something going on, or the, the that, newspaper, the schoolyard. Yeah, it's just like, did was, you hear you could do this? With that was the game? only way I could beat Kingdom Hearts. I had to buy a game guide when I was little. Oh yeah, it was pretty difficult. I, and then you know what's so stupid? Uh, I got stuck on the most dumbest part. It was the part where you had to get to the wizard Merlin, and oh, there was God, the door. Yeah. Where it was fire, right? Emblem. And I could not for the fucking life of me figure out how to get past the door. And that, I was like maybe seven, eight. Maybe I was probably older. Probably nine. And, the, um, we, I don't remember. Yeah, it's been a while. No, uh, it was probably like nine. And I gave up on it. <laughs> and then I think I remember playing it again because Tommy and Michael all oh, remember started talking about it again freshman year. Oh, fuck. And I was like, well, fuck. I'm gonna go pick this up again. So I, I, I had my game, put it back in, and I was like, damn, after all these years, all I had to use is fucking fire spell in the damn door, and then I would open up the damn yep. door. <laughs> Dude, I've been there where I got stuck on a game, and I was just like, fuck this shit. This game's fucking stupid. Or, But usually it's a little farther, and like, so Gears 5, I got stuck, and I figured out why I got stuck. Now I haven't gone back and finished it, mostly because of the time it would take more mm -hmm. than anything. I got stuck because I got stuck in a loop where oh. I accidentally triggered something too early and i got stuck in a save no, point where so i'm like Fuck. you already fucked yeah i gotta go back to save points that or whatever and go through. which is fine and i can do it whenever i just stop because of you know what i mean several different reasons which one was that one gears that was gears four now i've beaten five i gotta go back and beat it on insane stuff to play five so. pretty good i mean we played um, a little bit but I, I stopped because i heard it was I very buggy and it was buggy because we were um i think it was we were trying to play a level and then when we would save it it wouldn't save right and then there it was in. for the first week because of like for whatever but it, but after a week or two i think it it's yeah it. i was gonna come back in and play i was just waiting for it, them to fix it yeah so. it, it maybe it took a month but about i because i do remember that because me and my friend were doing playthroughs you together exactly and we were trying was, to connect about there were different things uh you would also place. drop through the damn world a lot you would just fall through the floor randomly mm, Which, that's funny. it was usually <laughs> when you were playing the robot but you would just like, oh god, I see the universe and it's all upside down. Or it's like, I can see the bottom of the upside down. The floor hates me. <laughs> uh, shit like that. I remember doing those. I was trying to do plays on those as well, but it's always tough to keep them up. Or do them in time, because nowadays the people get them early, finish them. 
Uh, they put their streams out before you even get the game. Well, yes, that's that is true. Some some of these guys they will get them because that's just no, cause... that's how they do it. Like I've seen them because I remember getting the game, dude. Like literally getting it as soon as you get it. Uh-huh. Pre-ordered it, downloaded it within like an hour. Dude had a three-hour video up when I finished my recording. Edited. <laughs> Three-hour video edited. Oh. What, is the, what do you think? Is that just because of the thing, the time zone difference? Or do you think it's because I don't know, uh, dude. He got it early. That's what I was saying. Do you think it's because he... that they're, he, Maybe it's because they, they have they access do. to... They do. They definitely do. And they're you, it's early. not like it was some random little I mean, it dude makes sense because then they streamer. want people yeah, they give to, streamer to, to reviews yeah. and before and, I had... Oh, know, yeah. Had and they want them to be like, oh, well, what comes out, I want it to be popular. I want videos to be out right now because this is when yeah. it's popular. And so they if partner with the do... streamers and stuff. And the streamers, knowing that they can't violate, obviously, uh, confidentiality and stuff, they make the videos. Before at time. Right, and but then when it comes out, then they Then they buy. publish it. Yeah. And they, that makes sense. I mean... Right. And it's nice to get in and do it when you can yourself. And so look at, like, this guy's going through basically just as slow as I did. So he's doing the soul emblems, uh, getting one from Chi-Chi now. She's a cooking... She's the cooking leaderboard. <laughs> Which I find it hilarious. He cannot... He, like, can cook shitty fucking like baked fish or whatever we can't cook himself basically which makes sense because you never see goku cook anything except for over a basically an open fire yeah, with just the meat stuck to the stick yep right? it's like <laughs> they make it uh, like i said they did so many jokes in the bridge and then the one that messes with me is the one you can see it where it's the beard and the hat it's master roshi's one. Oh, oh okay it's i can't believe they put it in the game but once like you said it's a japanese game yeah, they're just it really is Japanese Japanese like that. They yeah. do, and it's. I was that's, a little like because when you when you see things like that, you're like, mm, that's not an American thing. We wouldn't put that in a game. No. <laughs> I'm not even saying that it shouldn't be in here. I'm just saying we wouldn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. Like, yeah, just, it's a, do not it. good or bad, it's just the way it is. Uh, no, it's so. It's what is what does the Master Roshi thing do? Is it just, I know it's with girls, but what money. Exactly? I think it makes you money. Yeah, I don't remember how. Uh, I didn't get too much farther past that after that. Because basically, you get to Roshi, then you see Raditz, then you switch to Piccolo. And I got to Piccolo, and I was like, I've been on for an hour and a half just fucking around, learning shit, running around all the areas, trying to find things. You can fly around and pick up orbs in the sky and shit. It's oh, yeah, so I've seen dumb. that too, yeah. That one's too much. They shouldn't have put that in. I'm going to be there for forever. They, that's cool, I mean, though, because then they made flying kind of fun. Because they you kind of want to go fly. Right, and it makes it like interesting travel you have a reason so you're not just randomly traveling and not getting yeah, anything that's from what it. i hate kind of things like there's that. also that's one thing I, i'm not so sure about is there's if the there's decent fast amount travel, of enemies they may better make my, there probably my... is fast travel too i haven't gotten there but i'm pretty sure especially for big stuff yeah but the other thing it seemed like you were you were able to move fairly quickly Quick even the at the world. start so yeah then you probably won't have to worry about no i don't think so and even if, like goku so like he has to use the nimbus here at the start but like you can run fast and oh yeah i've seen them run uh fast <laughs> oh it's just like the anime it's great it's just like the anime it feels like that's why i like this it feels so much like the actual that's anime cool. and cartoon that's cool uh the art isn't so high res and death that it feels like yeah i don't it, like it when feels it, like, it looks like a video i will game. say it feels a little bit flat but i'm okay with it because that's the style of dragon yeah. ball is that flat toned you know what i mean kind of uh cell shaded old school it's it's good stuff, uh, and we've spent a good yeah, so amount say, of time. Yeah, we'll talk, talk about, about Dragon Ball. Well, so Morbius then. Morbius. So you're excited for that, huh? I'm pretty excited for it. I like Morbius as a character, especially the stuff they've done him. with him. I'm starting like him. I'm I'm reading his mini series right now, and yeah. it's uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's interesting. I just found his like dichotomy good because once again, he's much. And a lot of Spider-Man uh, villains fit that paradigm of the not like a villain by circumstance. Right, like yes, he's yeah, bad, they, but he's afflicted by a disease that makes him, in many tr- ways, have to do this. He stuff. was trying to fix this up, but he effed up. And <laughs> right, same, <laughs> and kind of same like with Jack Connors, and, and it's the same kind of with, thing. like I said, if you pick out a, a laundry list of Spider-Man villains, many of them go for that same, same yeah, yeah. motto. <laughs> yep, Doc Doc. Uh, like I said, there's yeah, he he's supposed. S- he supposedly also, remember the supposedly the fusing of it to his spine caused him to go insane. Go insane. That's what he says. Yeah, even the movie hints at it. Granted, the movie which is. makes kind of sense. I mean, your spine is very right to have to an your... AI linked up directly to your mind. You're messing with your head, yeah. I like I said. Obviously, it could be excuse, could not be, but I thought it was a good little thing to add in and 
you know... Green Goblin, kind of the same, almost the he, same. Yes, although Norman Osborn... I guess he wasn't bad, though, before. He wasn't bad. He, he really wasn't bad, swing, so it really he does. He took out the persona of the Goblin. Yep. And, 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 and to be fair, uh, actually, no, I was like, I'm trying to think like other, but that really seems to be a lot of Spider-Man's trademark is like, these villains, in many cases, who weren't originally bad and they became bad. Craven's actually the same way. The the herbs and stuff that he took drove him crazy. Oh uh, yeah, that's why he does take herbs to make him super very strong. strong. Yeah, that's why he's able to keep to up with Spider-Man. Because yeah, they talk about it, Craven. He unlike... did do the whole thing, yeah, when uh, yeah, with uh, the hunted arc. Yep. I do remember that. Yep. Yeah, there's there. a whole. Oh yeah, because they were they who destroyed all of the plants. I forgot. Oh god. Hey, I know you see each other. Remember again? You're like, oh, what happened again? Oh, okay, I can't remember who did. I don't that. remember who did. Like I said, I remember the broad strokes because I remember like this that is how he got his powers. Good, that's only when I started liking that that run what? of Spider-Man. Yeah, was when the hunted it's very kind of much. Came in. Yeah, so it was a pretty good one. That before that was kind of bland. Yeah, I only so picked it up because of Spider-Man. So but even it. before that, they had hinted at it. So here you are on Roshi's Island. You're doing that anyway. Back to Morbius. Just pointing it out yeah. to people in the back. Uh, gonna so Morbius, I like the look. The look good, looks awesome. Like I said, I, I very much find it interesting. For that like, quick three seconds, I guess we got to see him, which is awesome. Yeah, I w the two things I want are more of the... Uh, I can't remember the name for it, but it starts, I think, with a P, but the nose being pushed up, which is the very bad light. Like, to the more bat, yeah, bat light. Um, I'm hoping they clean up the FX a little bit, because it does look a little rough, in my opinion. Just some of the like, some edging. Time, right? When was it supposed to come out? Sometime this year? Next year? I'm going to say October. That's enough time. I mean, and honestly, it's not bad. As like I said, I just hope they clean it up a little bit. It's not like Sonic levels of like this needs to be fixed or anything. That's so messed up too that, that they uh, fired that studio. Like they shut the whole studio down after that. Like, yeah, that was kind of crazy. They're kind of messes now. I was like, should I go support Sonic now? I they wonder how that, how that all went down like... Maybe they're like, we need this guy, much money just say, hey, I'm gonna, I want all you guys, to, I don't know. How long, how long has that company been around before? I don't so even I'm know. I, I have no details on that company, kind honestly. Of, yeah. like, to me, that was funny, but anyways. I didn't know anything about them before, and now there's nothing to know about them. So, it was like, you know what I mean? It's they kind did a good job, I'll say that. He no, I mean, honestly, I mean, it was, it better. Good. He looks more... You know what it was I didn't like cartoony. about him? He looked too humanoid to me. He like, definitely, his face was way too, like, round and human-y. Or not even around, but like like you said, just had too many human features. The eyes especially, like, were too small. He needed big cartoon. Like I said, he needs to look like a cartoon because he is a cartoon. Mm -hmm. And even when translated into, you know, real whatever you want to call it, like, you know, he is not a person. He's not Spider-Man or Wolverine or something. He does mm -hmm. not need to be. Or even the Hulk, who is this monstrous yeah. but human person that you can put human eyes and human features and stuff on. That's not Sonic. Sonic's a cartoon hedgehog. He is going to look basically just like what he does, but a little nicer. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's a little rough to kind of explain so. it that way, but I think they put too much work in the first time. Yeah. I'm excited to go see it now. I am. I, I want to go see it. Uh, I, I got a bunch of stuff. I got to go see stuff. Yeah, I want to look good. And then, um, yeah, yeah. I said, like I said, I wanted this. I'm, I'm, I don't know whether I want to see Bad Boys 3 or if I want to see 1917. I want to see both, but or, which one? You know what I mean? There was that other uh, movie I wanted to see, which was Underworld. Oh, it's or underwater. Sorry. Okay, underwater, I was like, they're doing underwater. another underworld, sorry, sorry, and I didn't sorry. hear about underwater. It? Underwater. I had um, heard of that. It was one. with what's her name even uh, Christian uh, Stewart from uh, oh, nice. Twilight. Nice. She was. Oh, she, I'm nice. actually kind of liking her her acting a little bit better. She's she better. She's starting to get better. Okay, she is. The thing is, I and that's what I always say is like I never. Maybe just it's count just people. the roles they're putting her for. Much Maybe they was always <laughs> the director in the role, man. Sometimes it's you know we give them shit and we talk about it, but people are right. Like, you know, I. Affleck's not a bad actor. I, maybe he could have done a better Batman. Like honestly, I still think Snyder was the one that ruined that that whole run. You know what I mean? He, it just didn't feel right yeah. to me. It felt like, oh, all right. I think I, I don't know if I talked to you about this. I'm gonna talk to someone about it. I had seen this uh, depiction of Henry Cavill. Oh yeah. Uh, but he it, and he was in a Superman suit, right? But instead of his regular haircut, he had the Witcher hair and oh. eyes. And they had him depicted basically underscored as the sentry. And I was like, you know what? I think that would work because I actually think that the like split weird ass personality dystopian future Superman they put in there yeah. is the one. Not dystopian future man, but just kind of like 
this uh angsty not superman superman like that's it was yeah not... well when they even did the he was too realistic when they came really back realistic. to life and he was already starting to kill everybody i'm like what the fuck is going on here <laughs> i could have freaking with that that way my favorite why is even the just original like... man of steel run where it's just like you know i did world i will tell you this and... i did not watch the man of steel uh at all no you you should it's I, not I it's the best it. i did it's the best of that trilogy being the man of steel uh batman versus superman and yeah that's kind of what starts it off really isn't it man of steel almost? right but it's the best one out of the three yeah that's honestly. what i've heard i have heard that it's honestly the best one and it's I mean, still only about a seven for me i think the I only think. reason why i didn't watch is because this is Most a time when i really was not interested in superman at all and for anything I'm about superman just... i'm still not interested in that superman how about that like and that's the thing like superman <clears throat> is a fun character when written a very yeah, very that's, specific that's way. the only reason why i started liking him was when i read very well written stories but, and they're really good like the ones that embody him embody him as this they're two different good superman stories ones that are basically elseworld stories that are superman at an entirely different Superman. You know what I mean? Superman Red Sun, Superman Kingdom Come. These are not the Superman you know. Mm -hmm. They are Superman's bent by circumstance or situation to be darker or more jaded. And then you have the classic good Superman stories, which are just Superman being a paragon of human virtue, basically. Like the embodiment of human hope is the way I would describe Superman in the... Man, it really does fluctuate randomly yeah. as hell. It's just like, and then it's, yeah, it's so weird. It's like there, and then it's gone. <laughs> Maybe because I was like, oh, you know what? Might have been my phone. That light. Maybe. We'll see. I'm looking at it for a second, and let's see if once I get off the phone, let's see what it is. That would be crazy if that is all it took. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> See, I told you because yeah. I was like, yeah, it wasn't like that. So until I looked at my phone. Really, literally, is we just need a backlight. I mean, onto I do. The that key means screen. my backlight's pretty. Oh uh, yeah, but it's more to the point that th one, I installed some dimmer lights up here, so these are like flat lights, so that they're not very like super bright. <laughs> but they're supposed to be that way to give a nice toned yeah. image. Like if you look at us, we look pretty decent. Yeah, they're a bad color. The color is pretty, I need mean, anything to fix some things and obviously but, like but I think we really just need to light this baby up on the back with some nice flat toned lighting and it would be good once we get that up which you know we'll figure that out eventually maybe maybe by a couple weeks from now um besides that though we had Morbius I mean, yes, and all these other ones about Dragon Ball you liking it so far Morbius yeah, are pretty looks excited good. for there's not too much new news coming this um, week I'd say I just I mean they're Hyping up uh, Godzilla here. Pretty, they're saying it's right. To be Godzilla the, versus like the big King movie. I'm excited for it, but until we see a, a preview trailer or something, I, I mean, I'm kind of that, and that's kind of the sad part. Is like no a movie in terms of popularity coming incoming to the box office is usually only as popular as its hype plus its trailer. Mm -hmm. So if the hype and the trailer are good, cool. If the tra I mean, even then, if the trailer is good, it becomes the hype. It's mostly about that trailer. If the trailer is really good, it's going to get good original viewing at the thing. And then if the movie's good, it will carry on into good numbers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, there's also cases where the hype overcomes numbers. You know what I mean? There's a bunch of situations. For instance, like uh, Batman vs. Superman. Tons and tons of money made. But that's because the hype was so high. And then by the time people learned that it was not worth seeing everyone had already seen it or a good portion of people had already seen it well we'll see i am excited though we'll see uh yeah to see that i movie. i want it. i think it'll be good i'm just saying it's like i i, no, I want to see how the trailer, yeah the trailer i was no, gonna no. do it oh what's directing it though does it really matter i mean it does yeah it well, does the first guy we just talked the about that directors was, matter um, we talked about it how directors yeah, was matter. the first one because Ryan Johnson? No, no, no. no. Peter right. Jackson? Mm -hmm. No, that was the other King Kong. It was somebody. I can't Dude, I'm never gonna remember. I know for sure though who did the second one because the only reason why is because I like because uh, he did uh, Trick or Treat. Michael uh, Doltry, I think is his last name. Doltry. I'd have to look. He it did up. that one and Krampus, <laughs> which is I was very surprised I for him too. to do the 
Godzilla movie, but I was like, oh, he did a very good job. So, um, yeah. The Godzilla movie's good, so, I mean, the, yeah, if the that speaks, of the is yeah, the, the, new, the new one, yeah. yeah. It's a good one. I like it. We talked about like, one of my favorite fight scenes probably ever for Godzilla. That was the best that last thing to watch in IMAX, I'll tell you that right now. We went to go see that. I was like, I did, yeah, if we're going to go see this movie, you, you go see this we movie We did go, I think we went and saw it. This is monster movie uh, ba- battles, like actual battles in this one, guys. No, it was legit. I think <laughs> I went and saw it uh, with my father. Which is funny because we watched a bunch of that day and he, he wanted to. You said it. your dad loved it, right? He, he did, but he, he was... passed out. Like, oh. was, but it was because he was tired. He didn't yeah, I know. There's nothing you could do but about he, that. But <laughs> he still caught that fight, which is the important oh, part. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's so he, and he cool went fight. back and watched more later, so <laughs> obviously good. he got what he missed. But no, it was great. Uh, enjoyed it a lot. I'm excited for it. And, and there's other things to be excited for. I'm just wondering if there's any news to cover on things to be excited for. You know what I mean? Yeah. Too much. I mean, let's see. What else do we have coming up? We did talk about last week, too, as well. But I mean, Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman. We talked about uh, the, the women movies and series coming out a bit. Uh, we talked about a bunch of different comic book stuff and things uh which this week was pretty decent too i caught up on mm, x x-men mostly this week i was I catching up all their conan. series nice oh uh, yeah conan has been pretty good we actually got to see uh crom oh you get to see crom that's a good one what, have you yep. been reading that one conan, i or? haven't uh which one the savage sword or no the... not the savage the the barbarian Conan the Barbarian, because yeah. there's like five Conan series yeah, out like no. right now. Geez. The main ones they have, but I think Savage Sword just ended now. It, it did, and it, but and, they're still. Uh, uh, they still have. Uh, now they're coming out with the Dark Angus one. Coming. There's a couple, man. Like and I said, I was looking, and there's Ballet, a bunch. Conan Bullet, and then Bell- Conan. Yeah. Oh, what was the other one? There was one more. I can't remember. Oh, but anyways, yeah, I the main one was Conan before. Barbarian that I was, I was really enjoying more, because that was Jason Aaron's run. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. There's a lot of good stuff coming out of Marvel right now, and DC. I feel like there's also an equal amount of kind of mess stuff, or at least stuff maybe not mad, but that's not like Daredevil's been really good. I haven't caught up, but I've been letting a lot of those ones like go go ahead in a couple. The Dare- oh my gosh, Daredevil's been really. good. I thought good. it would though, because it, they're talking it's about been really uh, good well, since... Kingpin. He's talking about legalizing. Like they've actually talked about marijuana in the book. I, yeah, they did. I was around for that part. And uh, then there's I'm just but not there's quite just part. one part right. Where... I just remember that one part from that one where he's just like, "We're going." He was like, "We're going south." Can anybody else like? No, if I go vegan, the whole city goes vegan. <laughs> Zeke. Like... There, yeah, but they had this one part with Kingpin where he's a. Uh, he gets invited by one of the richest families in uh, New York. Yeah, I've seen that one. Oh, so you read the part where he goes in and he's in the bathroom and he, he beats the crap out of the Yeah, he beats him to the, death. Oh my gosh, that, that, that shit whole, was insane. That huh? whole scene, man. And then well, he was so like, cool. it was, uh, yeah, what you say was so cool is that he's, he's so scared in that yeah, moment. Yeah, because you're he just knows like, he's like, you just like, you never see him like that. And you're just no. like, but then he's so scared because these people he's dealing with are. No, nobody to be fucking with either. I mean, even beyond that, it's that, not even that. Like he's, he's trying not, to be good too at the same right, time. Right, I think it's because like he's trying slate. to be good and obvious. And the other thing being, like, he's freaked out because, like I said, well, he's maybe not scared of these people, but like he needs their connections. Yeah. And, and this is a no. You know what I mean? That's well, then, a no go for the connection. Even when they that. talk to him, the way they talk to him at the very end, because he's like, "Oh, uh, you, uh, that's your friend. You know, he's uh, very reliable." And then he says it again. Very reliable, like the way, he, like oh my gosh, really fucking no, <laughs> already, and you just like oh, so this the whole that whole book oh, was yeah. good, and then the one after that was very good. So too that as well. I think that one is actually the last one I read up. where he okay. beats the guy. Yeah, when you read the next issue, gets even better after that, and then I like I kind of like where they're going with Daredevil. I think it's interesting. I find I find it interesting how it's ba- it is Daredevil, but it's basically Daredevil and Kingpin. Yeah, I mean book. they kind of <laughs> have to explain the whole mayor thing. Right? No, they do, and it's it's so interesting, who, but. What, what better book to do? I guess it, it, and it's his villain too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Realistically speaking, that like if anyone could claim Kingpin as a main villain, it's Daredevil. Granted, Bullseye really kind of fits that spot yeah. as well. But, but I, I like the whole ma- uh, Kingpin mayor arc so far. Oh, it's been and pretty we good. Go to the Raditz arc, it only took fifty minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, I told you, it takes minutes to get through this. To through the, like all the side shit you can do and talking to people and finding things in the world and shit. Mm-hmm. And little well, little things. Well, yeah, because I finally caught up on Daredevil and I read that part. I, and maybe I that's like, one of the ones I'll do because I gotta catch up on those. I'm trying to yeah, they're doing get the... my sequencing stuff done uh-huh. so all the publishing gets uh, expedited as well as the editing. Just make it quicker that way I can get to do more of the comic review episode stuff because those ones actually take a minute because I have to sit read comic 
I haven't even, I'm debating on writing scripts or just kind of like freeballing it, but writing scripts is so much better. It sounds nicer. Yeah. It's, it's just better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it takes time. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. Scripts are a little bit better because then it doesn't sound like you're just on the spot kind of <laughs> talking. Which some for, people like that, but do, I feel but like it's, it's just more professional. It, yeah. It does sound a little bit. Cleaner. But yeah, we're doing those. We've got, like I said, we're still scheduled through March. So that's cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Or I mean, to March. Yeah, that, that, that's all the comics I was catching up to on that I was enjoying. Daredevil's been pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think of some more ones, but I really haven't hit anything that's like gotten too much farther ahead than when we last spoke in story-wise. You know what I mean? We, we did the Hulk one, but... I was reading Ravencroft. That was Ravencroft, pretty good. Yeah. That was good. They're expanding more on that. On um, once the, Now that the whole building's been demolished, they found a secret underground course tunnel <laughs> right i mean it's always yeah, yeah, yeah. something you know and I mean? they even find a, a mary shawl's uh book in there and it's like frankenstein yeah book, frankenstein. They, so you're just like oh my gosh so then yeah it, it's pretty cool they, then they talk about uh cat like this guy named john cassidy which is cassidy. very funny because it's yeah, not nobody you've ever heard of because it's a brand new which yeah, is the, say, it's probably cassidy... just a rel- relative of Cletus, Cletus yeah. but it's just like, it oh my gosh, be, this, could be this name, thing yeah. goes all the way back to oh, when yeah. this shit got created. He, he's well, had and, family in this. And, they like, and he goes crazy, the guy, like John, because he was a cool guy. He was married, and then he eventually goes, I forget what he goes, how he goes mad, but he goes mad, and then they, they eventually make their first asylum, and they put him in this barn, like a shack of a barn. <laughs> and that's it. He has to stay there forever, and his wife comes, and she gets her face ripped off. <laughs> face and then, ripped off. And then she, she runs off. So. Oh, and now we finally passed where I was at. Uh, this uh, is where it's more open world, though. So you see, like, you can kind of just go wherever he wants. Oh, see that? See, like I said, it does look pretty cool. When I was watching some of the videos, it did look pretty, I mean, open the, world-ish. The thing, me. the thing that messes with me a little, and I think that'll bother me for some the of it. The camera angle, I heard people are not. Uh, it's think, not too bad. Fighting, not for, really for this, but the fighting scenes can be a little... Honestly, I, well, it changes when you fight. You'll, you'll see if you fight someone, which you should, because honestly, that's just, one of my... Uh, it doesn't matter. You'll just run around and meet people because there's open area of enemies. And that's one part I like. You can get in a battle with multiple enemies in open areas. So instead of just having one fighter, so look, here's his fight, and now you've switched to the, to the rear view from the classic uh, 3D Budokai, which... Is not my favorite. I still prefer the side scroll, but when you're in a 3D open world, this is the only fighting system that really, or the fighting camera that makes sense, in my opinion. Like, it's all behind him. Granted, it moves a little left and right, but it basically does it so that you can always keep your eye on him. You know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a cool. You can do teleports, you can do fights. My big thing that I liked about it was. Uh, like I said, you can fight multiple enemies at once, so a couple I've of those dudes can fight. A couple of times, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, you got the, the speed co- flying. Yeah, what I like though, the combat system did look a little bit funner to me. I feel like it's it's reminiscent of the old Budokai system. So you have yeah. the, the key blast, you have the punch system, the flash behind system, mm-hmm. the flat or the knock away. You have a guard break basically, or a uh, combo break in the burst. And then you have a tr- triggers for supports where you can pull in your party members. There's a lot more close combat, is what I feel like too, more than. Yes, Sinovers. I mean it. It is and isn't like I feel like you can still get super far away and like like he's making it look easy. You can definitely like lose them in the sky, but it has a lock on system for one. Granted, I'm always bad at using those, no matter what game. <laughs> um, but I thought it was pretty good. And so, like, here he is. He's going to the event. And I'm going to stop here because I actually haven't gotten this far. So. Yeah. Well, but we're also... Yeah, too. it is about time. It's been about an hour, and it's 5.20 now. So, yeah. thank you for coming through. Appreciate Perfect. everybody. And we will... And thanks for uh, yeah. joining us in our competitions. Our new, but are yep, enjoying we'll, our new stuff, blue hopefully. Screen, blue screen. <laughs> we'll figure it out, hopefully, a little better next week. Or, if not, the week after. We're always improving. And we'll see you next week for Comic Convos. Episode 100. Yeah. Maybe we'll get like little hats or something or something to celebrate. But yeah, have a great (laughs) one, guys. All right, I'll see you. Well.